Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corin Brad and today I want to show you some cactus. Now if you've been hooked by the succulent bug, but you're not very good at looking after plants, and actually they are quite easy. There's about 97 in my house at the moment, because um, my daughter collects them. But you can make your own cactuses very easily by painting stones. And then you can just arrange them in a little terracotta pot like this. And all that's in that pot is some of that pink Himalayan rock salt um, that you put in the bath. And it just holds the stones really easily. They can just pop in there like that. They stay really still. Very, very simple to make. So I'm going to pop this to one side. You can either go down the beach if you want, or you can buy those bags of um, like polished river stones that you get in the homeware shops for filling up glass vases with to arrange your flowers. Simple stone like that. It doesn't have to be perfectly oval, because actually if you look at the majority of cactuses, they're not perfectly oval. Um, grab yourself a fairly soft paintbrush, oh, this is this one, and choose your colour. Let's paint this in a nice turquoisey green. Because that's the other thing, cactuses don't have to be green. You can paint them any colour that you like. But just make sure you paint in the same direction for a smoother finish and that you work your brush well into the holes that may occur on your cactus. To save yourself from getting paint all over your hands and all over your work surface, use acrylic paint which dries fairly quickly and only paint one side of it. Lay it down and let it dry. With those river stones, because they're a very, very smooth, non-porous surface, you will need to put two coats of acrylic paint on both sides of them. If you don't have any access to stones, you can make equally good fake stones with air-dry modelling clay. Simply get a ball of clay, roll it into a ball, stick a cocktail stick in it, and then just smooth it up to make a cactus shape, like these two here. You can't see that on the white. And again, you can paint this... And the beauty of this is, you can paint it all the way around because you can use the stick to hold it. In fact, this is a great little project for kids. You can, um, you know, especially with air dry modelling clay, I wouldn't recommend using like a bakeable polymer clay uh, because the acrylic paint will take to it, but it doesn't take as well. This air dry clay, this is one that's actually made by um, Fimo, but it does absorb paint really well and then just... I need to stick it somewhere to let it dry. Pop it inside, pop it in there to dry up right. That's got added salt on that one. Let's just pop that to one side and close this up before I knock it all over the table. So you've got your stones or you've got your fake stones and you've painted them in various different colours. So even now at the minute, they do look like cactus, especially like those um, bunny ears cactus that you get. How to decorate them is very, very simple. You can, if you want a bunny ears cactus, a traditional bunny ears cactus, they tend to have a spot pattern that goes like this. Oh. And this is just a Posca paint pen which dries relatively quickly and you can get a nice fine line on it. So that's your bunny ears cactus. You can uh, go to town with just a whole lots of dots running up here to indicate the type of cactus that has those um, ridges in it almost. Again, what I'd recommend is do one side, let it dry before you flip it over, because it's always disappointing when you turn it over and you smudge all the work that you've just done. Or you can just get creative with it and you can do lines of dashes and crosses. Just so that your cactus looks a little bit stylish. They never need watering. You don't even need to leave them in sunlight. They're not going to stab you every time you walk past them. And Once you've painted them and they're dry, let me just remove this one that probably isn't dry yet. 
get yourself a little terracotta pot. What I've done is I've actually put some kitchen towel in the bottom of that terracotta pot so that the sand, sand, um, salt doesn't fall out of the holes. And this is purely just rock salt that we've got for putting in the bath. But it makes a great surface for you to stab your little cactus into. Let's add one of them out of here as well. Just for a bit of change of colour. And there you go. Very simple. Succulents in seconds. Hope you enjoy them. Please let us know how you get on and we'd love to see photographs of your succulents. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.